Tariga, we always talk about it with the three Fs. Tariga is a fair, a festival, and a festivity. And I am in charge of the fair part of it. All what is the, the business part, the part that the audience doesn't see. The contact between the producers, the programmers, and the artists. My part is to arrange uh, all, the, uh, all the work, uh, all the conditions for the programmers to come, what we call the professionals, to come to Tarrega. During the year, we prepare all the projects, like this year was the Nordic Spotlight. We prepare it during the year. We prepare the projects that will attract these professionals to come, and we make the conditions so that they come. And this is the part we do. And then we have the, uh, uh, the buyers, while the artistic department makes the program, which is the sellers. This is the part I do. This year, we were expecting less professionals, we were expecting less audience, um, and, we, and we knew about that. It comes a time when uh, numbers are not as important. Quantity is not as important uh, of quality. So, Tarraga, luckily, we've, we've gone to reach quality. It's better to have uh, a number of, you know, three or five hundred professionals that are very good and that they really are uh, expertise than others. So, luckily in that, we have this mentality now that if the professionals drop, um, it is not a problem. But we were expecting less due to the crisis. But at the end, the last figures that uh, we saw, we have more or less the same as last year. The same number of organizations, less people in each organization, which is something that I always wanted to. You know, what we work about always when we give the lists of professionals coming, we give two lists. One is the name of organizations coming, and we allow four persons for each organization, because we understand that some people, you know, if you want to see a lot of things as a market, you come, th you know, three of us come, and you go to see one part, I go to see another, and that. Um, my, my fear was to drop a lot on, on organizations attending, and we haven't, luckily. Although, again, when you do this work, and you have to foresee what's going to happen. As we expected something like that, um, around the month of May, an association of um, artists and directors of Catalonia, which is called, came to us to say if we could do something together. And I thought, now is the time. You know, we're going to work with them. They want something to do with us. So what we're going to do is giving better conditions for them to come as an association. We're going to attract more people from Catalonia. And it's something that we achieved. And in times of crisis, we, you know, we, we manage to, to keep the, the levels of people coming. And we're happy about this. That's better. It's more a personal thing. Yes. Um, Tarrega has every year around 750 professionals. And I, this, the, the, these figures are very high, you know. Um, this is the reason why we also do uh, small gatherings. The Nordic Spotlight, for example, was a little meeting within the big meeting. You know, because you have in a place, you have a hundred people in a place where they meet. Because how can you meet several, how can you meet several hundred, 700 or 750 people in a big city? It's difficult. So we have to do as well the little fear within the big fear. And, and we do some meetings because two, three hundred people meeting is fantastic. And then 700 is good to have, but um, how to deal with it? I think it's a limit that I, I don't actually want to reach. I'm fine with that. Uh, is, is there anyone who has a question to Mike about the festival or? How, how did you become the word festival? Me? Yeah. Um, I was born in Tarrega many years ago. <laughs> uh, 
I actually was, I, I am the generation of FIRA because I was about 14, 15 years old when the first edition started. And at that time when you were 15, uh, the first time you were allowed to be that late in the night was during FIRA when you were young. So I couldn't, I didn't see the first FIRA because I was an amateur actor at that time and performing in a group in Tarrega and we had something during the Fiesta Mayor, the celebration. But then I lived the second and the third, which were amazing, absolutely amazing editions of Fira Tarrega. After that, I left, I went to Barcelona to live, but I kept in contact with Fira, and I knew a lot of people, and I helped them a lot while we were here. And we lost touch. And suddenly, many years after, I get a call from Fira Tarrega asking me if I wanted to come and, and work. And it was amazing because at that time I wasn't expecting that. Well, I never expected it. And I said, well, why not? And I was actually changing jobs every three years, more or less. I was getting bored and I said, well, I'm going to change something. And I was in between. I just left a job. And I said, I'm going to take a year off to enjoy myself. And they knew about that and they called me. And I said, well, well, three more years and I'm going to be there. Three more years and I'm going to enjoy it. And this one, this has been the 11th year in FIRA. Mm -hmm. So, and it's going to be many more, I hope. Yes. I, um, my, my background is producer. I've been producer in radio. I've been a script writer for television. I've been working in media and also been doing production as well for television. So I have a little bit of a background. Although sometimes I have the feeling that it's difficult to get, well, you are doing, so, you, you know, what you're studying could lead you to do this job I do. But remember, it's, it's, it's about, how, how could I say that? How do I do my, my job? It's about, um, being, have imagination, you know, is what to do. You know, it's the work of a producer. The producer is, well, I have to see the whole thing, you know, and, and, and see the whole picture of it, what we have to do. Uh, why do we want to do that, you know? And, and somebody, uh, people with, with a lot of spirits can do this job. You get the experience while you do your your job. So this is why uh, I came here from another sector. I have a completely different question. What, what do you hope the students take away from this trip? What do you hope the students take away from this trip when they go home? I, I always like, you, you will become professional, or you are, or you will become professionals of this, I will become, yeah. right? I, I would like you that you had experience coming as a group within the university, the two sides of it. You know, to have the eyes of being audience and also being producers and also being, you know, uh, cultural managers. Because when you go and see events, you have to see them in all the different layers. You have to enjoy them as an as a, as audience, as person. But you have also to see all the professional matter of it. I don't know if I make myself clear. You know, um, what, what is happening to me? Uh, me and the general manager, when we go to a show, we look and with the artistic director, and it's a funny thing always, he says, oh, that's a fantastic show. And we turn and we say, have you seen how many people on stage? That's 20 people, <laughs> you know? And then we see the show, we see, and then we see all the production things and we see how things are done. We see how audiences, what you were saying is very interesting. When we couldn't talk about the show or we didn't understand the show, we saw the audiences. You know, it's, it's a matter of experiencing this other way of seeing an event because you have to see it in these two ways, as audience as as professionals. And I think it, it could help that because one of, when Jost and myself I uh, talked about that many years and, and we planned it. You know, what we want from that is, is to give you the insights, the, the things that the audience don't see. So you can, you can learn from this experience. I don't know if you feel that 
it's been useful in that sense. I ask you now. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that I experienced in Tarrega. When you make a project, you need, the project will never be a perfect project the first time. And the second will improve. The third, you know, we're doing FIDA for 32 years and we still have to change things. Example, this new project this year, this meeting with the, um, the cultural management of Catalonian the artistic directors, we did it and there were some things that didn't work. And, but we knew that. What are we going to do? We're going to make evaluation, and we're going to make what things didn't work. And we're going to make a second. With the confidence that, you know, the, the worst silly things, because the first things you have, the first problems are silly, are stupid problems. And then when you have these things solved, like um, not controlling how many people is telling the others to come, and then suddenly you don't know, you don't control how many of these professionals will come to FIRA and then they all come and we are not prepared to, to welcome you and we are not, we don't have all the tools. When all these silly things are ready, from the things that worked, don't touch the thing that works. When it works, it works. Don't change it. Improve it from there. You know, it's the core of the... Now let's, let's go second step, from the first. And this is it. And this is what this project is. Yes. You know, it was a meeting, an experience for all of us. It went well. I would do something else. And in one of these meetings, I remember, we talked about everybody saying, why is all this treating and all, it's not well developed in Tarrega? And it's well because we don't have the capacity to. And then we thought from that idea that now, now we, we, we're getting to what? Because we know you, you are, well, you are technical, you have all these uh, skills and you like that. Now we have something we can work on and we've been developing. What it is now, the relation between in Holland University and Tarrega is a leveled relation. Why? Because you come and learn, we hope to, and at the same time you are part of the team because all the community management all the international comes from you and we do this job of retweeting or as, as much as we can. So I think we're getting to that very good point of, of relationship and it's good for all of us. I think it's interesting that. Yeah. We are happy with it. Yes, and we are as well, yes. And it takes time, of course it takes time. Um, in my life here in Tarrega, I think only one project was perfect the first time. And it was because there's magic and it's a lunch meeting that we do. Yeah. The idea was fantastic. We took four years to find the venue. <laughs> the idea was very good. We put it in a venue. It doesn't work. You know, it's, it's, um, it's too small. It's too packed. It's closed. People want to smoke. Well, second venue, it's a sort of a garden. To, you know, people don't know how to put it. Third venue, until we found the definitive. Now we're not going to touch it anymore because now it's working. So don't try to make things the first time. But do you still want to show new things every year? Yes, we do. On the? Um, we need to. Um, Fira Tarrega has, when it comes to professionals, has half of it, or 60% of the professionals that come are um, regular people, what do you call it? They come every year, um, especially the Catalan ones. They come every year because it's the meeting point in Catalonia. Uh, what's the reason for them to come to see shows? And the second reason is to meet people. So what I have to do is that every year I have no new people coming. New Catalan people coming, but also new international promoters coming. Because this is the reason for them to come to Tarrega. 
if it's a meeting that every year we are the same people meeting, there's a moment to say, well, I've talked to them. I don't, I don't have the curiosity to, to, you know, to talk to them anymore because I already know them. This is when it comes to the professional meeting. When it comes to the artistic uh, part of it, the performing arts and the outdoor performing arts now in Europe and outside Europe, you've seen the opening show. The opening show is a UK company directed by an Australian director. So we're talking about um, world performing arts. is evolving very fast. We are in a time that's very interesting what's happening in the outdoor performing arts. Five years ago, we were not talking about site specific. We were not talking about theater in non-conventional venues. We were not talking about uh, uh, multi, um, what do you call it? Multimedia. Multimedia performing in, in outdoors. There were some things. Now, you've seen outside, Insect Tropics, a lot of video. Um, many of the shows uh, have new dramaturges. So it's interesting to lead that thing. You know, is the street theater, uh, outdoor theater, as we like to call it, we still have um, all these, you know, these, these uh, walkabouts, and that's fine, it's good, but we have to go further on. So we, knew, we, we have to be leading this. So it's essential. You know, another, for me, another key thing is when you organize things, lead them. Try to, you know, uh, try to get the new trends as soon as you can. That's very, very important for everybody for the audience, for the people that come to see you, for the meeting place, it is. So this is a key thing. Never get, never stop. You know, like sharks, keep swimming. <laughs> or like, or like, like Dory in, in, in Finding Nemo, keep swimming, keep swimming, <laughs> keep swimming. The other thing is that you can't forget in three seconds what you did. That's, that would be a mistake. Tarega has to be beyond Tarega. Fira Tarrega is not only a celebration for the city. It's an international thing. One of the slogans we have is that Tarrega is the place when you'll, where you might see something in Spain that you won't see anywhere else. So, we, from the um, festival, we want to, in a way, get rid of this Catalonia Tariga label as much as to say no yes it's Catalonia so this nationalism no it has to be world based and uh, we've had uh, we've had along the years many openings from um, from international companies it was the last in the last five years that we decided to use Catalan companies to make the opening a support of but we felt at this moment that we didn't have any big show enough, good enough, to, to fulfill that. And that, this show that we show, uh, that, that was the opening, we thought it was a fantastic show, what, what we wanted, a big opening. In a year where we had less days, it's a smaller festival. So we wanted a big opening and we don't have any problem with that. And I think it's, it's something, it's a message we want to send as well. So it works when it comes to select companies. We have two ways. One is we call, we have a call of proposals. We get around 400 and something proposals. And then with the videos and that we choose. Then there's a second part and this is a new thing that the new artistic director pushed a lot. We do co-productions. This is a risk. We mentor them. They come here for laboratories, for creation. And some of them, we don't see the, 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 full, the full program until the end. And it's interesting as well. But the big shows, the wired aerial, for example, you go and see them before. You know, to see the reaction of people. You have to unsee if it's possible to do it here. I'll tell you one insight of, insider of this show. This show had to come last year, but we didn't bring it because it was almost, you know, it only did two or three gigs in Europe. 
and we have a lot of wind. You've noticed that in the, in the evening, sometimes it's very windy. And so with the screen and the people jumping and everything, as we didn't know what, it was, what could happen if there was a lot of wind, we didn't want to risk to have to cancel the opening. So we didn't bring it. So we said no. And then, uh, during the year, the artistic director went to see it twice in two different places. And when we knew the reaction of the whole, you know, how the screen and the show behaved, if you can say so, with windy conditions, then we decided to bring. It's been, this year, we've heard sentences like, it's been the best opening ever. And it's true, we've seen that. Professionals saying um, it's, been, it's been essential, you know, it's been, it's been the, the opening is very important. And, and people are very, very, you know, it's a silly thing, the opening show, in a way, uh, because it, it puts a lot of stress. You need to, to have something to begin it. Tariga, for two years, didn't have any opening show because we decided that if you have a big opening show, and the show doesn't work or something happens, the feeling of the people is that the fear is not good that year. You know, even if the rest is very good, the feeling is that it hasn't been a good. And it's the same with the opposite. So if you have a, a very good show and people like it, you know, the, the feeling is that, oh, it's very, very good year. And sometimes it's because they had that experience. I haven't heard anything bad about the opening show. I don't know if you have some criticism about the opening show. You do have? No, yeah, I love the, the end, like the one when they go, went up, but the beginning was a little bit slow for my taste. Right. But the whole, the whole thing when you finish? Yeah, it, it was... Really when the whole thing finishes? Yeah. The, the three shows I've seen, this was the best so far. Right. Now this is the sentence we get. Yeah. And it was, and it was very good, technically, and we wanted... Uh, we're talking about... Tarega talks about the need of dramaturgy. Um, into, into outdoor arts, and I think this show has a message. And it's important that we say something, outdoor art is not entertainment anymore. Outdoor art is the most democratic form of art. The audience that does not go to theater goes to theater in the open air. You know, the outdoor arts is not the, go, the people going to see. The show is the show going to see, to meet the people. We have audience in Tarrega that does not go to a theater in all the year, but they see theater during Fira. If in, during that hour you tell them something, you strike them, that's important. And that show was good for that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. And on my behalf, on behalf of Fira Targa as well, I was talking about when, you know, when you have something that works, don't change it. This thing works. We're going to make it better, and we're not going to change it. We're going, we keep working with you. And we have a deal. And we have a deal. We have a deal. <laughs> so tomorrow the tents will stay in Targa. <laughs> <laughs> I just made another deal with you. <laughs> for, for the next year. And I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back to... Uh, you come back home with... Uh, uh, differently as you came. If you do that, Targa did its purpose. Thank you very much. Thank you.